Hello friends, check it out. The lawn is kicking ass right now. It is hot, it is, I mean brutally hot, dry, and I am not watering a whole lot and keeping this thing thick and green and healthy and I wanna show you the secret weapon to drought defense. Hello friends, welcome back to the show. Check this place out, man, it is on point right now. Now look, it has been hot, it has been dry, I've been watering two to three times a week, and the lawn looks lush and thick and just amazing. So, I wanna show you two items, two items, secret weapons here to keep your lawn looking lush in the summertime when the heat comes on. This is for all grass types, so it won't matter. And then I'll talk a little bit about the nutrition that's out here, how I'm cutting it, all of those things, and just cover off all the important stuff. This is hydrate. This is the hydrate granular. This is a very unique material to enter into the space. What we've got here is a granulated compost that has a copolymer mix that has been sparged on here, absorbed by this material that will help penetrate the soil faster when you do water. These little compost granules will hold just themselves up to three or four times their size and water and their weight. So if you're putting this out over localized dry spots or something like that, this is going to help keep moisture down in the ground and capture more as you get water to it. Now, I have been using this as a recovery tool and I had a spot of a pretty hefty localized dry spot that was just outside the line of the sprinklers and it, it got really, really bad. So I use this as a uh, dry spot patch, if you wanna call it. Just sprinkled it through kind of like this and watered normally and that grass came back and now it looks like this. Check this out right here. I mean, this is a no joke, epic recovery in a very short time. So this is now going on about uh, two weeks since it was bone dry. Now, here's the thing. From the camera, from you guys are seeing, the grass here, it, it isn't as thick as where everything is. It's getting the right amount of water, but where the sprinkler comes across, it's just kind of missing this, and I'm gonna end up having to move my sprinkler a little bit to make up for it. This area right here has done a complete 180 in a very, very short time, considering what it came from. So here's the deal. These are gonna be available in 10 and 40 pound bags. Now, right now, professionals, golf courses, people like that are using this as a moisture management tool. How much can you cut your water? I don't like to make those claims. I think that's a hard thing to do. It's always gonna depend on your environment but it is going to reduce your lawn's need for water. Currently, my bluegrass in the heat of summer is getting water three quarters of an inch a week. That's it, it's pretty low. So it's actually maybe even a little bit overwatered right now. It watered this morning and it feels pretty wet. So I may skip even an extra day. It's on an every other day type schedule. So we're getting three times a week, but not a whole lot of water. So. I wanna see how far I can dial back because I'm using both this, mainly for localized dry spots, areas where the sprinklers don't cover perfectly, and then I'm also using the hydrate liquid. But let me show you what happens when water hits this. All right, you see that? So we put a little bit of water on there and see how it's just kind of swelling up here and grabbing on. Now these will start to break down. Over time, they're gonna get smaller and smaller. And it's just going to work its way here into the top of the soil profile. So look, I wanna be very, very clear about something. This is not going to replace irrigation, obviously. This is just going to help your irrigation or rainfall to capture more for your turf. So you're not losing as much. Basically, getting more plant available water is the best way to put it. Now, the cool thing is, if you wanted to go with the granular version and you wanted to use that in a widespread way, uh, you're talking about three to four pounds per thousand square feet. Spread it out, get it across the ground, and that is going to help. Now, 
You may need to do that a couple of times. That could be like an every 30 or 45 day deal. Compost is just going to slowly break down, but this is going to get smaller and smaller and work its way into your soil. So you are adding a tiny bit of organic matter, nothing that's really gonna majorly move the needle here, but it's just going to help more water holding capacity. Now with this copolymer mix that we've got as part of this, that's gonna keep more water in the root zone. That's going to help water penetrate into the ground faster. So you've got this two pronged approach. You're adding organic matter to help with water holding capacity and you're using these copolymers to make a big difference. It's nice because it spreads so freaking easy too. I mean, that's, that's a beauty, super clean. Let's talk a little bit about the liquid. Now, I don't have a label to show you on the bottle yet because they're being printed, but this is what it looks like. This is what's coming out. This is what you're going to see. And I've been applying with a hose and sprayer. Now I have only done that twice this year, about 45 days apart. I did it very early in the season. And then I did it again about a week or so ago, kind of in the middle of this big heat stretch that we were in. The application rate on this material as compared to the granular material. Uh, on a per thousand basis, the liquid is gonna be much cheaper, okay? Uh, this bottle, this quart right here is gonna do about 10,000 square feet. A gallon will do an acre and that's 30 to 60 days. Now, if you're into extreme heat and extreme drought, you're going to need to be in that 30 day cycle. If it's not terribly bad and you're just reducing your watering, then maybe in that 60 day cycle is going to be better. You can up the rate, but I don't suggest it. I'd say stick to the label rate and just do what you're typically going to do. On a professional level, companies are offering this as a drought management type program, allowing people to have green lawns through the heat. They're going to do a granular application first, 30 days later do a liquid, 30 days later do a granular, 30 days later do a liquid again. So you're doing that 60 days apart and this 60 days apart, and you're just basically recharging the system so that it can coast through. Now, again, I feel like, and I don't know if you can see my feet and how much moisture is just here, I feel like I am still getting too much water down into the turf and I need to trim it back again. My temperatures here have been up near 90. We're gonna a little break today. It's only gonna just barely get over 80 degrees, but it's still dry. There's still like a wind blowing to kind of suck the moisture out of the air and the grass is doing extremely well. Now look, all of this is just part of a complete balanced diet. Just like all the old 80s cereals commercial, you can't just use this. You still have to water, you still have to feed. So here's where the nutrition is at this point right now. Two applications of green charge. I'm totaling a little over half a pound of in, probably about 0.6 per thousand for the year so far. I'm going to be putting down another app sometime in late July. I'm just going to keep feeding through and, and I am going to get my numbers a little bit higher. Um, I've put down RGS, I've put down air rate, and that's about it. I haven't really done a whole lot else up here aside from adding my hydrate and then doing standard fertility practices. So another big difference here is I am cutting my grass a little higher, but it's still only about two and a quarter inches. It's, it's short by some standards. No problem, not suffering, doing just fine. Now I wanna take you down to the green and show you what's happening down there because I've been giving it the same treatment with the hydrate as I have up here, but different fertility. Now the golf green is a completely different animal and it's looking pretty damn good right now. I'm getting it back down to the height that I need it to be. It's on the same watering schedule as the rest of the lawn. No difference down here. The difference I have on this as far as feeding is it's just getting the 1648 green forest right now. That's all that's, this is going to get this year, nothing else. I even think this might be getting just a touch too much water and I'm gonna try to pull it back. You can see there's brown stuff around the edges, but that's just for me scalping it down. That's not because it's dry. I think that I'm probably gonna leave the water where it is, but that's the benefit of using these co-block polymers is in the sand or in the clay or in the loam you're still going to get these attachments of water molecules into the root zone, which is vital. So, you know, this is nothing new for the golf industry, for sports turf, uh, using soil surfactants, wetting agents. There's a ton of them out there and there's some big industry leaders and it's very expensive stuff. So cracking that is very important for me to get this material out at a good value so that people can get all of the benefits of being able to water less, have darker, greener turf, and you know get out and enjoy it 
a bit more than stressing about when the heat comes. Okay, so let me see if I can just bring this all home for you. Now, there's a number of things you can do to help recovery when you do have dry spots or you're having that summer stress. I mean, you know, there's a lot of folks out there that are using Seek and RGS and, and different things like that. Humates, all of those things are gonna add in to make a big difference. And quite honestly, for years, we've been doing that more than really focusing on uh, trying to get a surfactant or a polymer-based material down into the ground. Because we see with the increase in organic matter, like anything else, you get greater water holding capacity. And that's really what you're going for. So all of these things stack on top of each other. So is this really a fair assessment? Now, you guys have seen my lawn through the years. It has its ups and downs. I've got a very advanced sprinkler system in the ground here, but I can monitor and measure everything that I've got going on. This year feels totally different so far. And I'm staying on this program so that we can see how it goes and how much lower I can still get my water bill. I wanna see how deep, how far down, what is the lowest that we can go before we're just watering off of that wilt point and still have just beautiful, beautiful looking turf. So look, there's links down below. Take a look at them. You can go to the website. There'll be an announcement of when this is all available to the DIY side pros. If you haven't seen it, if you haven't seen the newsletters going out, this has been for sale. Um, going back actually into the fall, it is available both in granular and liquid form, so don't hesitate to reach out. But, secret weapon for sure. It is a good way to beat the heat this year. I hope you guys are staying cool. I'll talk to you later. See ya.